to YouTube. Welcome to Cafe Inuma and welcome to our reaction to Hal Ketchum. This is the first time I think we are going to listen to Hal Ketchum, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, we are going to react to the song Past the Point of Rescue. His name sounds like Heinz Ketchum. <laughs> Hal Ketchum, yeah. Uh, Heinz also has a name, right? Heinz, a person. Uh, this is requested by our patron Key. Let's get started. Last night I dreamed you were back again Larger than life again Holding me tight again Placing those same kisses on my brow Sweeter than ever now Lord, I remember how I Couldn't get enough of kissing Do you know how much you're missing? No, you don't but I do Days like a slow train trickle by And even the words that I write Refuse to fly All I can hear is your song Distractions I'm using. Do you know how much you're losing? No, you don't. But I do. But I do. And I wonder if I'm past the point of rescue. Is no word from you at all the best that you can do? I never meant to push or shove you. Do you know how much I love you? No, you don't. But I do I swore I'd never fall like this again Fools like me never win Came to my knees again your love invite me baby do you think it might be no you don't but I do but I do and I wonder if I'm past the point of rescue is no word from you at all the best that you can do never meant to push or shove you do you know how much I love you no you don't but I do But I do And I wonder if I'm past the point of rescue Is no word from you at all the best that you can do I never meant to push or shove you Do you know how much I love you? No, you don't But I do I know you don't But I do Yeah, I mean, uh, 
never meant to push or shove you. That line for me stands out the most. Considering we live in a world where there's a lot of domestic violence, a lot of domestic abuse. In fact, every four minutes in a country such as America, there's some instance or the other of domestic abuse and violence. And usually it's the women, uh, the girls, the children who are the ones who are abused, who are pushed around, shoved around. So no matter how well he sang this, and he did sing it pretty well, and the beautiful music, that one line kept standing out for me, that he pushed and shoved her. You know, I mean, when you do that, um, you know, it, it may happen suddenly, it may happen spontaneously. You may not really mean it, you, you may really love the person. It's just that you are that kind of a person, hot-tempered person and all. And I was that way too. Uh, I still am maybe that way. Um, you know, so I, I completely connect with my why he may have pushed and shoved her. But the fact is that it happens far too often these days. You know, in the world we live in, in countries such as America, it's almost shameful. In uh, countries uh, where nobody, the news doesn't really focus on too much, you know, the Eastern European countries, the Scandinavian countries, there's a lot of domestic uh, uh, violence going on. Uh, and not much is focused on because, you know, you usually focus on the big news. So there's a lot of these instances which happen and people are pushed and shoved around, kids are abused constantly. And, you know, we tend to go by the stats because we are not personally there to see whether this has happened or not. So, and thankfully we are not personally there in those kind of environments. But the fact is that we are not there personally, so we go by facts. But there's a, another fact related to domestic violence that is quite shocking, which uh, states that more than 90% of domestic abuse cases are not reported. So, you know, that means 9 out of 10 times the child, if it's a child, usually it's never reported because a child really doesn't know how to handle it in the first place. So even with women, girls, it's uh, difficult, you know. So 9 out of 10 times they get abused, but they don't do anything about it. Maybe they are too scared, they don't know how to go about it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's sad, you know, in the Scandinavian countries, in the Eastern European countries, and of course in America, UK also. There's a lot of domestic violence, domestic abuse going on behind closed doors, but nothing much can be done about it. So while he sang the song so beautifully, I think he deserves it. Whatever happened to him, he deserves it. He's on his own now. Perhaps he will learn his lesson. As we all know in America, they don't learn it. Most of them. So most of the guys. So yeah, I mean, good good riddance. He deserves it. What do you want? I like the guitar tune that kept playing all along. That was nice sound that was playing throughout the song till the end it went on and on. Uh, it gave it a nice sound. It gave it a very mellow, sweet sound to it. He's got a good voice too. Hal Ketchum. He's got a very good voice to sing a song like this. I don't know if he's talking about he has done a pushing and shoving or he's saying right now he does not want her to be pushed into making a decision. He is willing to wait. So I'm not too sure whether he's... Uh, trying to uh, rekindle what has been done by him because I think he said I don't mean to instead of I didn't mean to. So when he, he would say I didn't mean to means he has done it already pushing, shoving, physical, uh, getting physical with his partner or he's talking about now he does not want to you know, you know uh, force her into making any kind of decision although these are his feelings. Uh, he feels that they should be together but they aren't together and he misses her a lot and he thinks there is a possibility that they can come back together uh, but he does not want to impose that uh, it, that his decision or his need is requirement on the other person. That's what I felt while listening to the song. I could be wrong and there could be a possible and a real uh, physical violence uh, thing also being there because it's very common. It's really, really common around the world. Uh, whenever there is somebody weaker and there is somebody stronger, I think uh, bullying, uh, this kind of physical violence always takes place. Whether it is between men to, uh, you know, among men also, Men to women because, uh, you know, women are known to be uh, weaker than men. Um, children generally take the wrath of a uh, lot of people because they are the weakest among, of the society. And it goes on and on and on. I don't think it can ever change because as long as somebody feels that they are stronger and they have a possibility to get away with something wrong they are doing, uh, they do it. It's not that people are born with integrity or they are inbred with, uh, you know, values like that often. 
uh, it is uh, you know even parents so many parents also don't have those values so how will they put it across to their children or teach their children as a society also we have become so insensitive and uh, we have become so uh, shallow that we don't value the right things we are always into material things we are always into superficial things and these things are just getting worse by day by day i'm not too sure how will it be coming under control there has been a whole uh, pandemic also uh, in the journey of uh, the society uh, but it does not seem to change things for people uh, things are quite chaotic so whether it is only domestic violence or there are so many more things that are flaring up these days uh, you don't know what the solutions would be uh, because nobody wants to talk about solutions everybody wants to discuss problems and everyone everybody wants to contribute more into the problems nobody wants to be part of solutions because solutions are very simple and sometimes doing simple is not that simple it's as simple as that uh, that's what i think about the song i like the guitar tune and i like the way he sang it definitely <laughs>